I've run the full scan of the area Turgeon. She's here. In an SRV. No sign of her ship, though. So, SRV, but no ship. Yeah, that makes sense. She probably parked her ship miles away to stop anyone pulling the same trick she did with Commander Tato Chip. That's what I'd have done, anyway. Oh, would you know? Should I be concerned that you seem to be thinking more like Lily Laverne every day? You said it yourself, bro. It takes a thief to catch a thief. Aye, well, just don't go nicking any of my clothes or anything. <laughs> Believe me, darling, you don't have anything worth taking. Gives me an idea, though. Why don't you take that devious brain of yours, hop into the SRV, and keep our Miss Laverne chatting for a bit? And while you're doing that, I can nip off and look for her ship. Then once we find it, Andrew can lock it down to stop her running away again. And bingo! We'll have a captive audience for our questions about the Starstone gene. Keep her chatting for a bit. So, basically you're asking the galaxy's most popular talk show host to interview the galaxy's most infamous thief. Off camera. And no one is ever going to know about it. Do I need to tell you how much that idea hurts me? Might hurt us all a lot more if we let her get away, sis. Well, I suppose I could always get her to do SRV pool karaoke and save it for a Christmas special or something. Okay, sis. Now remember, your job is to keep her talking. I'll handle the rest. See you later. Is there something wrong, Dojana? Keep her talking, he said. Well, if my brother thinks I'm just going to sit here and be the decoy in this crackpot little scheme of his, then he's sadly mistaken. Talking is what I do, after all. Clues in the name, really. Talk show host. If I play this right, I can win Lily over to our side without the need for any of this covert cloak and dagger stuff. Well, speaking as a cabbie, I always prefer to take the easy road, if one is available. Well then, let's drive, shall we? Hey, found it. Just over this next bridge, Turgeon. Her ship's power output is almost totally masked. Luckily, we've got those fancy sensors of Gwydion's to help us. Oh, that's not luck. That's just Gwydion being Gwydion. He knew we'd be needing those sensors. One step ahead, as always, crafty old bugger. Okie dokie, Andra. Are you ready for a bit of piracy? Board that ship and take control. Ha-ha! <laughs> aye, aye, Cap'n. I'll grab me cyber grapples and bring you the prize. Yaha and yo-ho. Weird. Why'd she walk off the side of the screen like that? I mean, it's not like there's a real room in there or anything. Is there? Cass, you used to live in the... wherever it is that Andra lives now. What is it like in there? Oh. It's complicated. In cyberspace, I'm not physical like this android body. But I'm not just a bunch of numbers either. It's something else. Something in between. A bit like the galaxy but instead of stars, it's made from cyber fractals. Uh, does that make any sense? Um, not remotely. Cyber fractals do sound pretty cool though. Well, I'd better set the ship down. Can you keep a cyber eye on fractally pirate Andro while I drop anchor, Missy? Yes, Turgeon. Or perhaps I should say aye aye, Captain. Ho ho and shiver me chest, you salty scallywag. Ah, uh, yeah, something like that. I'll, uh, I'll just be over here. 
Andra? Did you make it over to the ship all right? Piece of cake, Cass. Now I got to crack this crib and make off with the booty. Yar and yo-ho. Uh, sure, whatever you say. Just let me know how it goes, okay? Uh, hold on a sec. Something's not right here, Cass. There's a lot of encryption surrounding the ship's data core. What? And it's encryption that you can't break? Yes. It's weird, right? Wow. The only other time I remember you having trouble with encryption was with Science Guy's escape pod. Oh wow. You're right Cass, I've been a fool. Closing comms, I need to try something. Oh dear, something's wrong. Whoa, what was that? What the bloody hell is she doing over there? She said she wanted to try something, then she went off comms, and now I can't re-establish the connection. She did what? Ah, <sighs> bloody space pixie. We don't have time for her quantum silliness. Just keep pinging her, Cass. Let me know the moment you get her back. Excuse me, Commander Brilana Isis? To Janice Tarstone. I'm running a story about the Hull Seals on my show. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about your experience with them? Oh wow, you're the Terjana from the After Dark show. Sorry, no. I'm really far too shy to be on a hollow show. You want a famous explorer, like your brother? Someone more famous than me anyway, that's for sure. Oh, you're far too modest. I believe you're already quite famous in certain circles, aren't you, Lily? Ha! I thought so. Knew they'd send someone after me. But you? Why would they send a TV celebrity across the galaxy to get their little box back? Bit of an odd choice, wouldn't you say? So, Miss Starstone, why are you really here, I wonder? Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to try and arrest you or assassinate you or anything like that. Wise decision. Both have been tried more times than I care to remember, and yet, here I am. No doubt you've read the files on me, so you'll know I can be a very dangerous person when cornered. Yes, the person described in those files is indeed very dangerous. But something tells me the infamous Lillian Laverne is not so easily quantified. Hmm. Flattery. Maybe that's why they sent a chat show host. But in case you hadn't noticed, Miss Starstone, this isn't a TV studio and I'm not some dandified celebrity guest sitting on your sofa pimping their latest hollow book. Indeed, and yet here I am. You see, neither of us are quite who we appear to be, are we, darling? For instance, how could the cold-blooded thief in those files be the same woman who'd take the trouble to bury her friend, Bill Dixon, while still seriously injured herself? How do you know about that? And while we're on the subject of exploring dangerous ruins, let's not forget the thief who broke into an alien crypt, stranded a rival in a deep pit trap, and then thoughtfully lowered down a rope, so said rival could climb back out again. <laughs> so that was you. Hmm. Perhaps we do have something to talk about after all, but in private, of course. Shall we head to my ship? I'm guessing it has less surveillance cameras on it than yours. Oh, undoubtedly. But not as many amenities, I'll wager. True, my ship did start out as my nerdy brother's exploration ship, but I made sure it has enough creature comforts for a trip across the galaxy. Luxury cabins, fine food... Are you sure you 
wouldn't rather wait until he returns to the waypoint. A tempting offer, but I'm afraid I'll have to decline. Soft beds and fancy food can dull the mind, you know? And I'd rather not doze off for a moment only to wake up hours later in a prison cell. So if you'll just follow me, please. Oh well, if you're sure. Oh, I do hope you're not thinking of adding me to your collection of treasures, Miss Laverne. Well, I guess that would depend on how many booby traps you have, Miss Starstone. Oh my goodness. Andrew? Yes, Commander? I'm heading back, and I have a guest with me. Actually, Miss Lily, I have guests with me here too. Yeah, I kind of thought you might. Andrew, open the box and initiate harem scarum. Aye, aye, Commander. There's still no word from Andrew Turgeon. I don't get it. What is taking her so long? Well, she did say there was a lot of encryption. Yeah, but I've seen her cut through even alien encryption in the blink of an eye. So why would a DBX be giving her so much grief? There's somewhat weird going on here. Oh my, Turgeon Quick, check the scanner. There are two SRVs coming this way. One is Turjana, and the other one is Lily Laverne. Oh really? All right then, Jan. Interesting twist. It's not the original plan, but this could work out even better, actually. Assuming our quantum pixie can work out magic in time. Come on, Andrea, get that ship disabled. Ah, uh, wait, what's this? I'm seeing a sudden energy spike coming from Lily's ship. Yes! Good job, Andrea. Just in the nick of time. Oh, bollocks. Turgeon, wait, something's wrong. Now there's an energy spike on the legacy as well. What? Oh, God damn it, Andra, what have you done? Oh no, Turgeon, this is bad. According to these readings, the Legacy's power core is about to go critical. Bollocks! Cass, grab the potato and get to the backup SRV, now! But what about Andra? It's too late, Cass. There's nothing we can do for her now. Stop! Don't get any closer! The Legacy's about to explode! It's what? How the hell did that happen? What? What is she doing? She'll be killed! Andrew, disengage her and scare him. Hold on, Turgeon. She just got back in her SRV. Is she coming back, do you think? I bloody hope so. No, wait. She, she's headed towards the Legacy. Oh, no. I have a bad feeling about this. Well, Miss Darso, looks like we'll have to postpone that little interview, I'm afraid. Oh, for... Wait, we can follow in her ship. Ah! This corridor's so narrow! Ow! Mind your big metal feet! That was my bloody foot! Oh dear, sorry, Tajana. Where's the sodding cockpit in this thing? Oh, oh, thanks, mate. Ah, arse, it's locked. Quick, find a terminal somewhere. Ow! Not all the same bloody way, obviously. Come on, come on. Nope. Okay, that? No. How about this? No? This, then? <laughs> That's not going to work, Turgeon. The ship's systems have been deactivated, remember? Andra! Oh, thank the stars you're okay, at least. Hurry up, reactivate the ship's systems, pronto. Sorry, Turgeon. I'm afraid I can't do that. What? You, you turned it off, so just turn it back on again. Ah, well that's the thing, isn't it? You see, it wasn't actually me who deactivated the ship. It was a piece of Starstone technology. Stars... 
Oh, crap. Gwydion's stolen box. And let me guess, that piece of Starstone technology is no longer on board the ship. Am I right? You are correct, yes. So, let me get this right. The stolen piece of Starstone tech that Gwydion said was of no consequence has just allowed Lillian Laverne to steal our ship and escape. Does anyone else find that a bit odd? And so now we are marooned. Turgeon? Well, uh, we could... Um, uh, hold on, hold on. Now let me just think a moment. Um, uh, Please. 